Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I will be flashing the new build of Paranoid Android ROM that has been released recently on the OnePlus X. So let's get started. First of all you need to download both the Paranoid Android zip file and the ROM itself. Then power off your phone. and reboot into TWRP recovery. If you don't have TWRP recovery installed on your device, then do that first. Hold the power down power button and the volume down button together in order to boot into recovery. Once in TWRP recovery, first you will have to wipe everything. So go into wipe, advanced wipe and wipe everything here except the external storage where you will keep the ROM and the gapps and swipe to wipe. Make sure to take a backup of everything before doing so in case you have some important files on your device. Once done, go into home and then go into install. Scroll down to the ROM and the G apps. Here is the ROM and on top of it it is the G apps. First click on the ROM, then click on add more zip and then select the G apps and swipe to flash. This will take some time so be patient. Once both the ROM and the G apps is flashed successfully, reboot your device. The initial boot might take a lot of time so don't freak out and wait patiently. Our device are finally booted up and uh, this is the setup. So let's set our device up. Now we are successfully booted up into the Paranoid Android ROM. This is how the home screen looks like. It has the usual Android Nougat app drawer. Swipe left and you will get Google Now here. You can long press on the home screen to add widgets, change wallpaper and in settings you can allow home screen rotation. So let's see what wallpaper is this ROM comes with. So it only comes with a bunch of few wallpapers here. These are the wallpapers which Paranoid Android comes with and this is the pre-applied pre one. Long press on a wallpaper and it will be applied. You can add it to home screen, lock screen or both. Now let's hop into settings and go into about device. In about device, you can see this ROM is based on Android version 7.1.2 and the build date is July 10. This ROM also comes with gesture supports. You can turn on or off from here. It has double tap to wake device, two finger swipe to play pause music, draw O to open camera, draw V to toggle flashlight. Less than sign for previous music and greater than sign for next music. This ROM also comes with button customization. You can change the Pi setting, enable or disable soft keys like this as in the original Oxygen OS. Swap the recent key and back keys like this. Swap slider, swap the alert slider mode order. And yes, alert slider also works perfectly on this ROM. 
as you can see here it you can also customize long press and double tap action on the home key back key and the recent keys under the display category this rom also comes with night light this will actually tint your screen uh, amber and uh, this will make it easier to read in dim light and you can fall asleep more quickly so this will actually make your screen warm and will give it a yellowish tint uh, like as you can see here this will make your screen yellowish you can also turn it automatically in this rom you can also change the themes you will get this option under the display category in settings so once you tap on themes you will get a bunch of theme right here you can also see the preview for these themes so let's change the default theme into some others this is the dark theme which makes every, which makes the background of everything dark which is actually really good for an ambient display as you can see now the background of our settings has been changed into black and also that of the app drawer which helps in saving battery because this is an amoled display under the theme engine you can also change the accent color by tapping here and then these are the accents color you are getting if you tap on red this will change the accent color to red and uh, like it will change uh, all the icons to red in the settings panel this rom also comes with fm radio pre installed in it now let's check out the camera and here is the camera interface as you can see you can enable or disable hdr flip the camera change different modes here and these are the filters you can preview your photo by tapping here capture it here and you can change between panorama photo and video mode here under settings we are getting a picture size up to 30 megapixel with an aspect ratio of 4 is to 3 You can change a bunch of options from here. Under video, you can capture a video quality of maximum of 1080p with this camera. Quite basic interface in my opinion, but hopefully it should work. It also comes pre-installed with a gallery application which is nice in my opinion. It also comes with Shuttle Plus audio player. This is a premium app in the Play Store. It is nice that you are getting it for free on this ROM and you can listen to all your songs from here. You have all the usual nugget features on this ROM. You can long press the home button in order to get google assistant so this Hi, is i'm your google assistant so as you can see this is the google I can assistant help you find what you need it also comes with split screen function and it works fine you can double tap the home button in order to access camera also Until now this rom feels quite snappy. I will keep on testing this rom and if I find some flaw in this rom I will let you guys know in the description below. If you found this video helpful drop a like and subscribe to my channel and support me by doing so. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.